Most data applications are built in a multi-turn conversational interface, also known as a chatbot. In this video, I want to give you a practical example of how to debug these systems in production and evaluate them so you can understand if they're improving or regressing over time. There's usually two ways of doing multi-turn chat evaluations. On the one hand, you have the n plus one evaluations, which is taking the n turns of the conversation and then evaluating the next turn. Or you can have session level evaluations, which is trying to understand the overall success or failure of a conversation. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on the n plus one evaluations and I'm going to be doing another video later on on the session level evaluations. I created an example, which is a chatbot assistant that takes a user question and answers with the OpenAI model. And you'll have the code to follow along with this example, but if you already have a system that is a conversational chatbot and is traced with Langfuse, you can also use that. If I go to Langfuse, you can see that I already have some traces for my application. And the first step of any evaluation process is to always look at the data manually. So let's just do that. As you can see in the input for the trace, I have a user conversation until turn number two, and then the answer from the chatbot. And in this case, for example, looking at, at the conversation, I can see that the user is talking about some blood pressure issues that needs to cut back on salt and processed foods, and then asks a recipe for a loaded nacho, which is everything but cutting back on salt and processed foods. And in this case, the chatbot is actually responding with an actual loaded nacho recipe, so that shouldn't happen. Let's look at just one other example. In this one, the user talks about watching a vegan documentary and then asks for a beef stir fry recipe. And again, the chatbot makes the mistake of answering with a recipe that includes a dietary restriction that was mentioned earlier on in the conversation. So this is one of the typical issues that you might have in your applications where there is context that is ignored. And now that I've already found manually a common set of problem, what I want to do is group them in a data set so I can do evaluations based on those. So the first step is actually to create a data set. I'm going to just call it recipe questions for now. I'll create that and then I'll go back to my traces so we can add these two traces that we just found. And in this case, I don't want the expected output because what we're going to be doing is scoring the output. And you can see that this could be a little manual process to look at all the traces that have this specific problem and add them to the data set. So once I found that common problem, what I can do is actually create an LLM as a judge that helps me filter the conversations that I want to add into the data set. So I'll go to the LLM as a judge section and I'll create an evaluator. In this case, I have already a custom evaluator called is recipe question. And I'll create that. I'll apply it to the existing traces and I'll also create some filters for traces that were created today. You can see that I have a prompt here that asks the LLM as a judge if the last message is of the user and is also asking for a recipe. And then I'm providing an example, what the input will look like, what the output should look like. And then at the end, I'm providing the actual user conversation. So I'll just go ahead and create that, which will start running. And if I go now to my tracings, you will see that I have already a column called is user recipe question with score of one for the conversations that are actually a user recipe question. So I'll just go ahead and add a couple more traces to my data set. Now I'll just go into the data set and see the items that I just added in. Now that I have a data set of these traces, what I want to do is actually run these conversations against my production applications so I can understand the output of my system and evaluate it over time. So what I'm going to be doing now is using the dataset experiment runner, which is a feature in Langfuse to use the SDK to run experiments with your application based on a specific input. But this is for local data. In my case, what I'm doing is fetching the data directly from the dataset and then running it against my add message function, which is, if you remember from the previous application, the application that I just had for the cooking assistant. And finally, I'm just running the experiment against my production code. And now that I have my run, I can go to the dataset runs section and I can see it right there. So you can see it took the conversational history that we had from the trace and then generated an output right from the production system. And the next step is to actually score this output so I can understand these outputs in a programmatic way. So what I'm going to do is now create another LLM as a judge, which in this case will evaluate the output of my dataset. So I just, again, created a dietary restriction score, which is an LLM as a judge that is going to be running on my dataset runs and existing items. 
And what it does is evaluates a conversation, the input and the output that we generated to understand if the dietary restrictions that are mentioned in the earlier parts of the conversation are taken into account in the answer. So the input is going to be actually the trace input and then the output is going to be the trace output. I'm gonna go ahead and create this as well. And now this LL as a judge will be running against my dataset experiment. So if I go ahead and see that, so you can see here the scoring that we have from the LLM on the overall conversation. In this case, it passed because the assistant is actually addressing the user's needs. And if we go back to the data page, you can also see a score for the entire data set actually. So now if you make a change to your application and run the data set experiments again, you should see an improvement to that score. Dataset experiments can be run from your CI or they can be a script in your code that you can also run manually. So just to recap, in this video, we analyzed our traces manually, found a specific problem, and then used an LLM as a judge to help us filter through all of these traces and find more similar problems. Then we used a dataset to make experiments and generate scores so we can evaluate the overall performance of our system.